Hey everyone, this time we are looking at Nintendo Player's Guide for Mario Paint. I was a little confused as to really what I should be calling this because this is an art program. It's just more of like a set of ideas for you while you're planning out, or like playing around with the art program, uh, trying to figure out what you want to do, and it's not really a game at all. So it's not really a strategy guide, it's more like a more in-depth user manual. Almost like this is like uh, like Mario Paint for Dummies or something like that. They go through a lot of things in this and it's really interesting. It's a very very intricate guide. It goes through a bunch of examples and just shows you how to go how to make uh, all of the pixel art for a bunch of different games. There's Mario, Zelda, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Star Fox, and then it goes into some weird ones like Lemmings here. But it goes beyond that to other stuff like Santa Claus or sort of some original ideas that they came up with. It also shows you how to do the animations that are on this, uh, that are on this cartridge as well. That was something I had never messed around with with this program, and I kind of wish I had because that one looks really, really cool. Most of what I did was play around with the music tracks, and that's something this book does a very good job of. It shows you exactly how to set up a bunch of different music tracks, not just from video games, but from other you know sources as well. But yeah, this music section is really my favorite. Uh, when I did eventually get this game, because I, I never had it when it first came out, I didn't get this until probably like my junior or senior year of high school. So when I eventually did get it, I spent most of my time playing around with the music function on it, just because I could get a lot of the other stuff, like the art and the animations, if I was ever interested in that. I could get that through my computer, and so I never really saw a need to mess around too much with those parts. It's something I kind of regret, but it was just, you know, what I had at the time. If I had this back in like 93 or 94, then I think I probably would have played around more with the animation and that sort of thing. But unfortunately I didn't. There is one cool part with this where they kind of show you how to record what you were doing on Mario Paint just because you couldn't really save a lot on the cartridge or at least save it long term just because of memory constraints and that sort of thing. It's a really fun book. It really does explain a lot of the things like a lot of the tips and tricks about Mario Paint. So, if you're really interested in this, yeah, you can find a lot of this stuff online, or you can find it through other programs, but this is a really fun way to like get into a lot of different art, art programs and that sort of thing. Anyway, guys, that's going to wrap it up. I hope you have a great day. See you later.